Sequester down gravel roads and florists, you'll find Mars Church. It's easier to get to nowadays. I, I can remember when this was a mud road out here. Like many churches across America, members are having their Sunday services. My great-grandfather and my great-great-uncle, who are buried along the first row here, were the ones that brought the logs out and cut them and raised the corners of the church. Built on the precipice of the Reconstruction era, it is touted as one of the oldest active log churches west of the Mississippi. A once a year service, descendants stand on the grounds where their families are now laid to rest. To me myself it's important because of my folks and all my relatives are back buried here. Gatherings like these at one time could have been a distant memory as well. Really, I, I really don't like to talk about it. The church was nothing but a skeleton after it was set on fire in 2006. It was one of our worst days. Vandalism of gravestones are also seen throughout the adjacent graveyard. I've been told we're not going to live forever on this earth. And I wish I could just to see what happens. There always seems to have been somebody to pick up when we were at our lowest points. On a mission to rebuild, they found not only kindness, but discovered how important the church is to the community. You would not believe the outpouring of uh, thanks we got for going to rebuild it. I personally went store to store and business to business and tried to collect money, and it was very well received. I was surprised. And we found out that was very, very expensive and we didn't have the funding. That didn't mean they couldn't make a deal. The restoration company uh, was nice enough to train uh, some of our local uh, craftsmen. Today, they sing songs and listen to prayers as their ancestors once did. It just means the world to me. I talk about it all the time. It may be sequestered, but its impact is still felt throughout the community. In Florence, Lewis Finley, KTVO News.